Hi, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Concerts and Conversations. I'm Matthew Durst, the Artistic Director of Ars Lyrica, and with me today is Abigail Fisher. I was reading it that, you know, that, that people listening during the time would be naturally looking for these multiple levels. Um, Cupid's always said to have, you know, blinders on because, of course, when he shoots his arrow, he's not always aiming with great accuracy, which is why you fall in love when you fall in love and not when you plan to. Um, so that's part of the whole story with Cupid. We really put gender and gender roles into a box, like much more than, than uh, according to my reading, that, you know, that, that existed in the, in the Brooke era. I, I always felt very comfortable playing um, playing men, you know, and that, that like there are, that we all have these these feminine and, and, and masculine and, and in-between parts like within ourselves and like what, what do we choose to to shine forward or to that feels like resonant. First of all, it's it's very clear that Aminta has been pursuing her for quite some time before this. Because the the first recit is like, okay, for once, just stop and listen to me of an aria, a prayer from Theodora. And I would have loved to do both parts, but um, you know, recording all, all of this myself um, during the pandemic, it turned out pretty complicated. And I figured one of these is, is just enough, especially how slow I went, so. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful piece. Theodora's always been on my shortlist. Yeah.